Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dre. I'm back with another tutorial. In today's tour, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a thumbnail similar to this right here. So let's just get into it. First thing you wanna do is go to File, then go to New, and then you wanna go to 1280 by 720. Now what I'm gonna do is go get my screenshots. And once I bring this in, I'm gonna show you guys me cutting it out. First, so what you wanna do once you bring this in, hit Control C, and go over here, hit Control V, and I'm probably gonna make the size like yeah, right here. All right. Once you got it right here, hit P on your keyboard, and now I'm about to cut it out. If you need to learn how to do that, just go look at my cutout tutorial, but let's turn to it. All right, so once you get done cutting it out, what you can do is go in the camera raw, and you can kind of mess with the, um, I put it in here to just make them look better. Obviously, I'm gonna kind of speed this part up too because I don't want to make the video too long, but kind of just mess with the my player to make it look better. All right, so once you did that right there, what you can do is go down here, hue and saturation, and you can colorize it. And this is the old way I used to make my own live thumbnail, but somebody did request this video. So after you do this, you can kind of mess with what color you want the background to be. But, um,. I'm probably gonna make it this color right here. So what you can do now is go into my player, you go to blending options. Then what you wanna do is go to outer glow and put that on linear dodge. Kind of copy the settings I got and you just wanna set it to the same color as the background. So it can look like this. And then you wanna go to inner glow, put it like that, and then have the size coming in like that. And then if you wanna go to inner shadow, you can have a white, and then just make sure your distance stuff is right and kind of make the my player bigger like this and for the background you want to just um hit j on your keyboard go to the spot healing burst tool and you just want to kind of go like this so you can't see the my player in the background and do this until you get it right all right so now what i'm about to do is open up this gfs pack and it is free so i'm gonna link it in the comment section but it's gonna have layer styles and stuff in it so i'm bringing it in so i'm just bringing this layer style this one i'll be using that look most similar and you can find some other ones in here too because a lot of packs people use and sell they have these layer styles in the, in the first place so i'm gonna just hit control c and then uh go over here hit control v with a layer style and i'm gonna show you guys how to actually make it so what i do is usually like for this dude right here I just put a Zerkro on top, and you can change the font. You necessarily don't have to use the font, because I feel like it's overused anyway. But, um, let me see. I'll be using this font, too, if you want to use it. But I'm going to just use this for the sake of the video. So, Zerkro. I usually put this on top, and then what I do is hit Control J, bring this down, and then put it live. So, I'll put something like this. Zerkro is live. And I'll hold control and then right click and rasterize both of these layers like that. And then once I rasterize, I'll make the one at the bottom bigger. So it'll be something like this. And I'll hold control. Kind of make it to this side, like right here. And just make sure this light right up. Alright. And you can kind of move the my player over some also, but you would have to do that um, healing burst thing I told you to do. Next thing I do is go to file, open, and what I do is get the 2K21 logo. And if you need that, uh, just hit me up if I don't end up putting it in the comment section. But I'm going to just put this, I usually put this on top of you, put it on bottom. So, But yeah, you can do something like this. Hold control, and then make sure you're on all the layers, then hit control E. Go to blend options. Then you just put on drop shadow and I put my distance down when I do do my drop shadow on these. Put your distance down, lower the opacity a little bit. Have it like that. And you wanna click on that and then right click warp. And then what you wanna do is just arc it like so. And yeah, now that you arc it, you wanna bring it down something like that. And like I said, if you move this text, so I mean uh, my player over, you have more space for this, but what you have to do is go back down here, hit J on your keyboard, and um, I'm just making it bigger with the brackets. And what you wanna do is kinda just do this right here, so it's not that hard. All right, so next thing I do when I do these now, uh, make a new layer on top, hit B on your keyboard, go down to the color picker, make sure you get the color black. And what you wanna do is just go around with it, like so. 
and yeah, hey, you ain't gotta mess up like that. <laughs> just go around with it, put the one on top on soft light, blow it opacity on it, then hit control J on another layer, put it on normal, make the opacity a lot more, but put it behind the map layer. Or you can do the other way around, like this right here, it's up to you. All right, but after you do that, hit control and S, you can, that's how you save it right there, but you can go in here to look for some effects you want to add also, because you don't have to do it exactly like how I did it, because this pack does have a fix, so you just want to go in here, they actually have a dark border, you just want to come in here, hit control V or whatever, and you can just do like this right here, because you still get the same dark color, as you can see, but yeah. But um, if you want to get the um the recording symbol, they have one in here also. But if you want the one that I use, I can send it to you. Just hit Control C, Control V, like they, I mean, like I did. Come in here, put this in here. And then right click, rest right layer, blend options, and then you want to add a drop shadow to it, like so. And then once you get done with this. What you can do is, like I said, hit control V. I mean, hit control S. Then you want to right click, merge visible, and this is how you merge all layers. First thing I do when I'm done, I go to camera raw filter. And once I go in here, what I do, I just mess with the settings like so. Um, you can mess with the temperature on here if you want to. There's some simple stuff, basically. Kind of like how I did in my last tutorial, but. Um, yeah. You just mess with all this stuff right here. Get up the saturation like that. You can mess with this right here. I know these settings right here make it look kind of cool if you figure out what to put on. But um, yeah, you can just mess with this stuff. If you just want to mess with the colors or whatever. But yeah, you can add some of this right here. Make it kind of darker on the sides. Add some grain. I usually put my grain on seven, like I always be saying. And you can just hit OK on this. And once I'm um, done with this, you can go on Magic Bullet. I don't really use Magic Bullet or Topaz Little well, Lighting no more. But if you want to go in there, I got a tutorial on it. But just hit B on your keyboard once you're done. Then hold Alt and click on like some of the colors. And just hold Alt and then click after you do it. And you do this with your brush. So I'm going to just do this spot, especially like over here with this big open spot. You always want to have one over there. Okay, so once you did that, what you want to do, you can set this on screen or either linear dodge. I'm going to do screen on this one. Lower the opacity to about right there. You just want to merge down. Once you merge down, hit Control J. Above this, you want to do blur, gauge and blur, have it like this. And then you want to just go over here and set a lighter color. And that's basically how you get that little glow effect I always be telling y'all about. You can do either do lighten or lighten colors. It's up to you. See, lighten is the thing is actually a little bit lighter. But um, yeah, do like this, merge down. Then you can just go up here to um create a new one. Go to vibrance, up to your saturation and your vibrance. Have about right there, and it's basically how you make a lot of thumbnail. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's been your boy Dragon. Peace out.